Good evening and welcome. Bill Skladowski here with another edition of What's New Wednesday with uh, help for your high-tech life. Uh, from the blog of the same name, BillSkladowski.com, where we've got videos twice a week, including this one, What's New Wednesday, uh, with tips and tricks and new stuff coming out for all your eye gadgets. And uh, then Friday, of course, iPhone Friday with a full lesson on what's going on. So uh, tonight, uh, I have actually two quick and easy tips for you. I was thinking, you know, when you go into the store sometime, they have those BOGO deals, buy one, get one. And then I thought, well, you don't have to buy either of these. They're free. So it's kind of a, it's a WOGO. It's a watch one, get one. I just made that up. So if you want to, if you want to use it, you have my permission. So tonight, two quick tips on uh, fun things to know about your iPhone or your iPad and what it can do to make your high tech life easier. But first, I wanted to talk with you about something I've seen out there uh, in Apple land uh, that's kind of making some news out there. And apparently, uh, some folks are getting phone calls from someone purporting to be from Apple. And you know this is going to be bad, right? This is, this is never a good thing. And a long time ago, well, I don't know when this started, but I do remember having some clients and customers of mine. You know, I'm in the PC tech support business. I would get phone calls from uh, clients of mine who said, gee, I just got a call from somebody, you know, from Microsoft. And I said, stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, they needed you to go in and do something on your computer so that they could connect to your computer and do something to fix your computer because something was going bad and they found it out online and <sighs> you see, and they went, wow, yeah, are you psychic? I said, well, yes, but that's got nothing to do with it. Um, it's a scam, okay? And now, apparently, <sighs> you know, there's a special place in you know where for people like this, but apparently now it's coming to Apple people as well. So here it is. And just do not pass go, do not collect $100, do not ever question this. Apple, or for that matter, Microsoft, but we're kind of, you know, we're thinking Apple and iPhone and iPad people here. Apple will never call you to tell you that they found a problem with your device. They'll never call you, period. <laughs> <laughs> okay? They're not going to call to tell you that something is wrong and you've got to do something or, God forbid, send them money or, you know, let them connect to your computer or your device or whatever. It's not, period, going, period, to, period, happen, period. It just doesn't. That doesn't happen, ever. So somebody calls you and they work for Microsoft. They work for Apple. You know, they, what, no. The answer is no. Feel free to cheerfully and quickly hang up on them, okay? So I think I've ranted on this long enough, but it's really one of the oldest scams in the book. And unfortunately, you know, people, you know, they're not watching our videos. They're not, you know, part of our tribe here, and some people fall for that. And I feel bad for them because it's completely preventable. You know, I, I, I don't want to point fingers at anybody and said, oh, you should have known. Um, but just don't let it happen to you, okay? So, again, Apple, Microsoft, they are never calling you. Now, on the other hand, <laughs> there, there could be an exception to that. If you've called in to Apple for tech support help and the young man says, let me get back to you with that, you know, and he calls you back, well, of of course, that's different, right? I understand that. because, And I know that because I used to work for Apple and I was one of those people where, you know, somebody would call me with a real, you know, puzzler of a problem and I would say, let me do a little research on that and I'll get back to you. And I would do exactly that. But, you know, it was like usually within the hour, you know, it was never like a week later or whatever. So obviously, if you've had dealings with tech support from your cable company or your TV company or same thing, right? Or your internet company or, you know, even Microsoft or Apple, you've reached out to them and now they're reaching back to you. Okay, fine. So I'm not, you know, saying just hang up on, you know, everybody. But again, if you get a call out of the clear blue and it's somebody saying that they are with one of these big tech companies... It will never happen, and it is a scam. Okay, over to the uh, phone, and let's get started on this. Now, 
Level is kind of, it's not really its own app. It's under the measuring app. Remember on iPhone Friday a while back, we talked about how you can use your iPhone to measure things just by pointing it at the edges of stuff. If you haven't, go back and look that up. It's a really cool trick. But uh, you can also just ask Siri to open up the level for you if you want. And, you know, whatever you do, if you say, hey, Siri, you're whatever me, I have the, I push the, I push the button on my thing, on my phone. Open level. Now, you're going to see it automatically comes up to that same measuring app that we were on uh, last time when we did the measuring thing, where you point it at the corner of, a, of, a, of an object and you scan across it and it measures it and all that. But look down at the very bottom there in the lower right corner. See, it says measure, and that's the one that's lit up on the left. And on the right, it says level. And if your eyes are really good, you can see it looks like one of those little bubble level kind of things like you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. So tap on that. And now here we are on the level. And all I'm doing literally is moving. Look at how I'm rotating the phone side to side. Or I can even do it if I do it this way. It'll flop. It'll flip over to the side so that I can, again, if I turn, 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 turn. Now. What can I use that for? Oh, I don't know. What if I'm hanging a picture on the wall and I want to make sure that it's perfectly square or if I'm setting a, um, a new shelf in the bathroom or something? I don't know. I'm not a handy type person. But anyway, if I put this down, I'm going to put this down uh, right flat on my desk and we'll see what happens. All right. If I put it flat on my desk, oh, look at that. When it gets to zero, it changes to green and it shows that it's perfectly level, which is cool because I didn't know my desk was perfectly level. But there you go. It, it is. All right. So, and it also, by the way, as you, as you tip it forward and back, you can see what I'm doing is I'm, I'm tipping the phone for front to back. It also shows when the phone is straight up and down. So if you have something that's not only got to be level this way, but has to be level on, you know, two axes, ax, yeah, axes. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, straight and then straight up and down right on that. See, there's a kind of hash marks right there on either side of the zero, straight up and down. Pretty cool, huh? And again, it works either way. You can do it up and down. I mean, you can do it in portrait mode or in landscape mode. All right. You know what? I, I never did try. I'll bet though, if I, yeah, see, I have the rotation lock turned off. See, that's the, the lock with the circle around it. If I lock it in place, now if I go back to the level and I and I turn it, will it change? No, it won't. So now I can get a perfect 90 degree angle straight up and down as well. Oh, so two different uses there for the level, depending on whether you have the rotation lock in place or not. Clever, huh? And um, rotation, that's an R. We'll probably do that for an iPhone Friday one of these nights. All right, quickly, let me do the other one. And that is the uh, text message that tells people where you're at. All right. So I'm going to open up messages up there in the upper right corner, and I'm going to go to a message to a buddy of mine. All right. Uh, we're messaging, we're texting back and forth. And if all I want to do is tell them where I'm at, like we're meeting up at a party or a garage sale or a, you know, sidewalk fair. If I type in, watch this, I'm just going to type in I'm, and it automatically puts the I'm in there. I'm at and then hit the space bar. Look at what happens down there underneath with the auto suggest. It says current location. And if I tap on that, it puts in the map with my current location. How cool is that? And it's taking its time because we're all, you know, Wi-Fi and doing the video and all that kind of a thing. But basically that will populate. In other words, it will fill out with the map. And when you send it to somebody, it'll have the little stick pin, push pin, right where you sent it from. Of course, it won't follow you around. So if you move from that spot, you know, it might not be the best thing for somebody trying to find you. But it will tell them exactly where you are at. And then if you want to, I can tap on the little, um, little uh, side marker there. Let me go back to that. See the little down in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, there's that little arrow pointing to the right. If I tap on that, it takes me to the real map. And then if I need to go there, if I'm not there, I can have driving or walking directions to get there. And how can I be two minutes away from where I already am? I don't know. All right. <laughs> Either way, all good stuff. So thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, letting, and thanks for letting me rant a little bit about, you know, this whole uh, Apple 
phone call scam out there. Don't fall for it. If somebody calls you from saying they're from Apple or Microsoft, it's a scam. Trust me, it is a scam. All right, in the meantime, if you would like to uh, be on the list and you're not yet, what are you doing? Head on over to the blog and the website, uh, like I said, with my name, BillSklodowski.com. Let me put that up for you at the bottom. There it is. And uh, this is the front page that you will see when you uh, get to the website. Uh, those kids watching the video there on their iPad. And all you got to do is click on the big button that says click me and uh, sign up for our email list. Once every weekend, we send out an email that has the two videos from the prior week of what you might have missed and also the free handout uh, that comes with the iPhone Friday lesson about how to do exactly it is, uh, how to do the things that we talk about on the iPhone Friday video. Shouldn't be that hard, should it? Uh, also, by the way, some folks have asked me about the uh, Siri handout, and uh, it's not on the website yet because it's being updated. But uh, if you stop by this weekend onto the website, there'll be a link on how to get the uh, free Siri tips and tricks as well. I'm going to start just giving that out as people sign up to my list. But if you're already on the list and you haven't got the Siri tips and tricks yet, feel free to uh, stop by the website and uh, pick it up. And again, that's going to be this weekend. Don't run off to that just yet, but we'll uh, have it up and ready to go for downloading for free, of course, this weekend. All right, that's going to do it. Thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate your time. Feel free to share this with colleagues or friends who you think might need it. Feel free to give up the uh, thumbs up on Facebook or the, uh, you know, heart or the like or the whatever it is you can uh, do as well. And uh, feel free to drop a comment or question below if you would like some more information about how to do a specific thing with your iPhone or iPad. I read and respond to all the emails and we are already in the process of turning some of them into our next videos. Thanks again for joining me. We'll see you on Friday for iPhone Friday. Take care.